Welcome back to Dorking Tech Tips. Today's tip is going to be on how to set up a new account in your Dorking software. Let's get started. So you've installed a new Dorking system. First thing we will need is a name for the account. This should be a name that describes the system, like Clubhouse, Poolgate, or Property Name. Once you have the name, click the Add in the top left corner of the toolbar. You will now have a blank line under account name where you can add a name for your new system. I'm going to call mine pool. You will now be asked what control board you have installed. If it is an 1830 something, select the 30 series control board. This would also be the selection for new installs. Once selected, click OK. You should now see your account in the file tree on the left and also in the main screen. Here we can add a contact name and contact phone. This would typically be for the person taking care of the account, the installer, or property manager. Here I have added Dorking Tech Support's contact information. To add this information, click on the cell you want to edit and start typing. Now with the account name, we need to set up the system information for the account. To do this, expand your account folder on the left by clicking the plus sign next to your account name then click on system information here you will need to add the master code that was programmed at the system my installer program 2468 you will also need to make sure your memory size matches what is installed on your system all new systems come with a 3000 memory chip installed next we will need to select how we will be connecting as you can see there are many options the most common being DKS Cellular and IM Server Modem. There are also recommendations and notes on the right side to help you decide. We will be using the IM Server setup today. The IM Server Modem connection requires an analog phone line. We will need to enter the phone number here. If you do not have this number, your installer should be able to ID the number at the system for you. This connection also requires registration. Please see our other videos on how to register on the IM server. The hard parts are done. All that's left now is to make sure your model number matches what you have installed. If you are not sure, check with your installer or the label in the center of the circuit board. Ours is an 1837. Congratulations, you have finished setting up your account and are ready to successfully connect to your new system. Please check out our other videos on adding residents and sending data, and we'll see you next time for more Dorking Tech Tips.